the emotions are coming out on Mari, and the drama is reaching its boiling point. You're done! Amanda believes her fiancé's been cheating with her cousin, Carrie. Carrie came to my job, said that she had sex with my fiancé. Her cousin brought these pictures as evidence. Anything happened between you and Carrie? No, sir. What's that? But who will the test expose as a liar? There's pictures to prove everything. Uh, that don't mean that. Uh, I'm more interested in the lie detector test. The lie detector determined. Really? You brought me well out here to lie to me? You won't believe what Amanda does to them backstage. This couple was engaged, but that's been called off for one reason. Jimmy gave Elizabeth an STD. He has an excuse for that STD. He had it his entire life. Will Jimmy pass the lie detector test and will their engagement be back on? Thank you. Thank you. Or will it be off forever? Plus, Maritza suspects that the boyfriend is cheating with her best friend, Shelly. She says she wants to know the whole truth. I got too much evidence. You just need to be a man and fess up. But can she handle it? Have you had any sexual contact with Maritza's best friend, Shelly? And can our security handle it? The conflict. The drama. Starts now. Done. It's lie detector test drama with absolutely no limits. This is Amanda. Welcome, Amanda, to the show. I mean, four months ago, it was like a bomb dropped on her head when her cousin Carrie told Amanda she slept with Amanda's fiance, Carnell. Wait a minute. You know what Carnell says? Carrie is a liar. So Amanda's torn between the two people she trusts the most, and she needs the help of a lie detector test to unravel it all. Watch. Four months ago, my life got turned upside down. My cousin Carrie told me that she had sex with my fiance Carnell. These are the two people in the world that I thought that I could trust. Carrie says it's only happened one time, but Carnell swears up and down she's lying. He says it never happened, so I don't know who or what to believe. My cousin Carrie showed me a pair of boxes saying that they were his. Carnell admitted to cheating on me one time in the past. I found a video of Carnell having sex in my bed. He swears up and down that was the only time. I also found naked pictures and text messages in his phone, and I even found a condom wrapper under my bed. Either Carrie's lying to me or Carnell. Either way, I'm being hurt by somebody I love. So in other words, somebody has let you down, one of the two, right? Yep. Now, what did Carrie tell you? Four months ago, Carrie came to my job in front of everybody that I work with. In front? In front of everybody. Pulled up a pair of boxes that said that she had sex with my fiance. Oh! I want to tell you something, though, Amanda. It's very interesting because Carrie says she slept with him. Carnell says he didn't sleep with her. But last night, Carrie brought to us some very interesting photos. Now, take, take a look on the screen. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Amanda, is that inappropriate? When it comes to Carnell, he did cheat on you one time in the past, you found out, right? I came home one day, I went to looking for it, and I found a video of him having sex in my bed, in my house, with another woman. But you're forgave him. Forgave him. He says, it's never happened since. That's what he says. This is what Carnell had to say, watch. My fiance Amanda is a wonderful woman. She means the world to me. Amanda found a condom wrapper in our room, but it wasn't mine, it was my Carrie's crazy and a liar and nothing happened between us. Carrie showed Amanda a pair of boxes and said they were mine. 
They couldn't have been. They was the wrong size. I admit, I seen Carrie's private parts, but only because she walked out the bathroom naked and forced herself on me. I made a mistake once by cheating on Amanda, but I never cheated on her with anyone since then. After I proved my innocence, I want Amanda to be able to trust me so we can move on and get married. Here's Carnell. Anything happen between you and Carrie? No, sir. Close the right door. Close the right door. Close the right door. Why would Carrie make this up? I guess she like, likes me or something, but no, I don't want her. What, what are they, what's that? What's that? That don't mean nothing. What is that? That night when it was all the way to the show and I was saving her. That don't mean nothing. Here's Carrie, everybody, her cousin. Yeah. Sex. Yes. You did. What more proof does she need than the pictures? There's pictures to prove everything. I want you to know something, that uh, last night, we went undercover with our special ops expert, Dave Vitale, and we put Carnell in a room with a sexy decoy, and this is what happened. Well, guess what? I'm more interested in the lie detector test, okay? Aren't you, Amanda? Did you have sexual contact with the woman Amanda saw you come out of the bathroom with at the club? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. We asked you when Amanda found a condom wrapper on the floor of your bedroom, was it from having sex with another woman? You admitted to our lie detector administrator it was. Oh. We asked you, have you had any sexual intercourse with anyone other than Amanda during your relationship with her? You admitted to our lie detector administrator that you have had sex with two women more than two times. I'm done with the you. lie detector determined you've had sex with more than five women 50 times. Yeah. We ask you, are you are you with the are you with Amanda only because she takes care of you financially? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. We asked you, Carnell, were the pair of boxers that Carrie showed Amanda? Were the pair of boxers that Carrie showed Amanda yours? You said no, the lie detector determined you're telling the truth. We asked you, did you have sex with Carrie in Amanda's bed? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. What the? So you lying to me to do this? You brought me way out here to lie to me? He's going He's cheating on we me. We asked you. It don't matter. You lied to me. But the pictures. Put the pictures. We asked you, during you your relationship with Amanda, have you had sexual contact with Carrie? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> this is Carrie. This is Carrie. This is Carrie's. Holla. This is Carrie's result. We asked you, Carrie, did you frame Carnell by taking photos of him, of you and him together in bed so it looked like you had sex? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> We asked you, have you had sexual contact with Carnell during his relationship with Amanda? Don't you said yes. The lie detector determined you are telling the truth. Oh. We asked you, have you had sexual intercourse 
with Carnell during his relationship with Amanda? You said yes. The lie detector determined that was a lie. It's over. You cut the woman. You The drama's not over. You won't believe what Amanda does to her cousin backstage. I can't wait till you get a boyfriend. I can't wait. This couple was engaged, but that's been called off for one reason. Jimmy gave Elizabeth an STD. He has an excuse for that STD. He had it his entire life. Will Jimmy pass the lie detector test and will their engagement be back on? Thank you. Or will it be off forever? It's lie detector test drama with absolutely no limits. Everyone, this is Elizabeth. Welcome, Elizabeth. Now, Elizabeth is here to uncover the truth about her boyfriend, Jiminy, who, by the way, was her fiancé. Not the fiancé anymore, but he's still the boyfriend. In other words, she broke off the engagement because Elizabeth says Jimmy is the king of excuses. That's right, Mari. That is right. That is right. Jimmy came home with scratches on his back. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. He said a bush attacked him. <laughs> when Jimmy gave Elizabeth an STD, <laughs> Jimmy said he had it his entire life. Recently, Elizabeth found pictures of another woman's private parts in his cell phone. <laughs> and Jimmy claimed it was a secret plot to sabotage their relationship. <laughs> when I met my boyfriend, Jimmy, I fell instantly in love with him. We have a little girl together. We're supposed to be getting married right now. Those plans are off until he proves to me that he is not cheating on me. When I went through his phone, I found 22 pictures of these other women's nasty, fat, private parts. I found scratches all over his back. He claims he was outside doing yard work and a bush attacked him. Jimmy also gave me chlamydia. When I asked him where he got it from, he claims he's had it his whole life. I am so in love with Jimmy, but this just isn't going to work if he fails the slide detector test. I mean, the STD for life. How about that? Hey, Usually, if you have an STD, you, you, you get to the pharmacy, and you get some medicine, and it goes away. <laughs> Let's talk about those pictures on the cell phone. Oh, my God. I went down to see him. I picked up his phone. I was text messaging. So, you know, a picture message was trying to come through. I look at it. It's my boyfriend's phone. If I want to look at the messages, I'm going to. So I open it. This bitch sends a picture of her nasty, fat, ugly, disgusting oh. <laughs> on already on there. They were already on there, and you know it. He also does say that with his ex, he did admit that he took a shower with her but didn't have sex with Only her. Only because he told me he wasn't going to tell me. I did, and he I admitted not a man. A man would admit it. But I that did not, not have man. sex. He no sex. He only told me after the fact that his told me, and he was busted. Jimmy has answers. This is what he told my people. Elizabeth needs to know I love her with all my heart. I love our daughter just as much, and there's nothing in the world I wouldn't do for either one of them. Elizabeth's upset with me because I made a mistake one time when we were going through a rough patch because I took a shower with an ex and I've regretted it every day since. There's an issue with some new pictures that she found on my phone, but that was in the past before us and I never slept with any of them. 
I came home with scratches on my back once, but it wasn't because I was sleeping with another woman. I was doing some landscaping and I backed into some bushes. Elizabeth is the mother of my daughter and I love her. And when she finds out I've passed this lie detector test and proven everything wrong, I would love to make it official and take our relationship to the next level. I can't wait to meet Jimmy. Here's yeah, Jimmy, everybody. See, How about that woman who was uh, texting you uh, pictures on your okay. phone? Yeah, All right, she's trying to, to break you Hang on, hang on. The pictures that were on the phone were pictures from when we first started talking to each other. Right. You can boo. You can boo. You can boo. That's fine. That's fine. Let me finish talking. Let me ask you this, Jimmy. Is it possible to take a shower with an ex and not have sex? There, yes. Yes. Yes, it is Yes. 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 And the only other two things I want to talk about is, you've got an STD for life? I never, I never said, I never denied that I had one. If I did have one and I did give it to her, I didn't know I had it yet. It's well, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. They asked you, do you, do you receive nude photos on your phone from women you have had sexual contact with? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. We asked you, did you contract chlamydia from a girl you cheated on Elizabeth with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. We asked you, during your relationship with Elizabeth, how many times have you had sexual intercourse with another woman she does not know about? You said none. The lie detector test determined that was a lie more than five times. We asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with the woman you admitted to showering with? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. It's what you suspected. I know, but I honestly tried to believe him. I believed him. Well, you do not swear on your kids that you didn't do anything. You don't do that. You're right. I knew for a fact that some of this stuff was going to come out. All I'm asking you this. For, I'm here. You, I'm you here can, now you can, for you and the kids. You, you're going to meet with my counselor. But at the same time, there is an infant, a newborn, okay? of which both of you are parents. And you want to raise that child as best you can with two parents. Maritza suspects that her boyfriend is cheating with her best friend, Shelly. She says she wants to know the whole truth. I got too much evidence. You just need to be a man and fess up. Real best friend won't accuse you of sleeping with their boyfriend. But can she handle it? you had any sexual contact with Maritza's best friend, Shelly? And can our security handle it? It's lie detector test drama with absolutely no limits. Everyone, this is Maritza. Welcome, Maritza, to the show. Now, Maritza, Maritza is convinced that her boyfriend of two and a half years, Kevin, has betrayed her in the worst possible way. She thinks he is having a secret love affair with her best friend, Shelly. And then Maritza, Maritza caught Kevin walking into Shelly's apartment with no shirt on. That's what she figured. They were up to no good. I walked in the apartment right behind him. What are you doing in her house with no shirt on? And? That's one. That shit's sitting there with a little tank top and some pants. Like, come on, no. He's my man. You don't think he's just cheating with her? No, you I'm not. You think there are other women? Yes. Like, why? What are the okay. suspicions? Okay, one day, right, I asked him, we went, we walked to the store, and so happened I'll just stand in front of him, and on his neck there was a hickey. So, right in the store, because I don't 
don't care. So right in the store, I asked him, where you get that hickey from? He was like, oh, no, you're tweaking out. I was with my friend. I was at my friend's house, and we was wrestling. You're 22 years old. You don't wrestle, OK? You're 22 years old. You're 22. But this is what he had to say about all of your suspicions. What? Oh, I got to hear this. My girlfriend, Maritz, is the most supportive woman I've ever met. We have a very close relationship, and her trust means the world to me. It tears me apart that she thinks that I'm cheating on her with her best friend, Shelly. Shelly and I are friends and neighbors, and that's where our relationship ends. Sometimes Shelly and I go to the store and hang out, but it's all very innocent. I never cheated on Maritza with any woman. Maritza found condoms in my pockets, but I got them from my friend in case I need to use it with her. I never have and never will cheat on her with Shelly or any woman. Why would you want to if you have Maritza with you? Everybody, here's Kevin. cheat on her. Somebody with that personality, would you? No, nah, no. Nah. I found oh, too much stuff. I got too much evidence. You just need to be a man and fess up. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. I am being a man. I am being a man. I'm telling you, I ain't doing nothing. This yeah. is what yeah. Shelly yeah. had to say. For the last five years, Marissa's been my best friend, like a sister to me. But I don't feel that way anymore. Because a real best friend won't accuse you of sleeping with their boyfriend. Kevin is like a brother to me. We are very close, and we do spend a lot of time together. Is this what I get for being a good friend? It feels like I'm getting stabbed in the back and punched in the stomach all at the same time. If Maritza feels me and Kevin's relationship is too much for her, too bad. It's never going to change. Oh. Here's Shelly. Oh, it's going to change. It's going to change. It's going to change. Straight up, nothing's happening between you and, and, and Kevin. Ain't nothing happening between me and Kevin. Now, you, you watch them. I mean, you watch them as a couple. You think he's cheating on her with other women? If he ain't want to be with her, he will tell her. Uh, last night, Kevin was in the green room, uh, and our special ops expert, David Talley, with the help of a sexy decoy, is going to show you this. Take a look at this, Maritza. Are you, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Maritza, why don't we do the lie detector? Because yes, we have lots to talk about. We asked you, Kevin, when Maritza saw a hickey on your neck, you said it was from wrestling with your friends. Was it really from a woman you had sexual intercourse? You admitted to our lie detector administrator it was. Oh! We asked you, have you had sex with that. anyone other than Maritza that. during your relationship? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you have had sex with two women more than two times, but the lie detector determined you've had sex more than five times. We asked you, Kevin, are you more attracted to Shelly than Maritza? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. That is a lie. That's a lie. We asked you, do you want to be in a relationship with Shelly? You said no. The lie detector determined... That was a lie. Oh! 
We asked you the time, Aritza, saw you walk into Shelly's apartment with no shirt on. Did you have any sexual contact with Shelly of any kind? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. That was wrong. That's all we want. It don't count for everything else. It don't count for everything else. We asked you, have you had any sexual contact of any kind with Maritza's best friend, Shelly? You said no. The lie detector determined you are telling the truth. I'm throwing all your stuff on the porch. You're done. Oh, Finito. Yes. That's it. Don't touch me. 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 You kissed that decoy. You think Sorry. it's supposed to be sweet? You're I'm done. Sorry. You're finito. Shelly, I'll apologize to you because you were telling the truth. And I'm going to be a bigger woman about it. And you still going to be my bitch at the end of the day. But you, you're done. You're done. Just you're like done. That. That's right. Just like that. Don't touch please. me. Don't touch me. Two and a half Don't touch years. me. Tim and Kathy have been married 17 years. Tim did cheat on Kathy with two of his own family members. But today, Kathy wants to know if Tim's been having a sexual affair with her sister. She found her sister's underwear in her bedroom. That's a lie! I don't wear panties! And a lie detector test is about to reveal everything. We asked him, were they having sexual contact with each other? <laughs> It's lie detector test drama with absolutely no limits. Everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome, Kathy, to the show. Now, for 17 years, Kathy has devoted her life to making sure her husband Tim and their three children were happy. Their marriage suffered a shocking blow when Tim did cheat on Kathy with two of his own family members. <laughs> Although she found it in her heart to forgive him today, Kathy fears that Tim is cheating on her again with her own sister, Tim. Yeah. My husband and my children mean everything to me. I would die for my family. I feel that my family has been torn apart because my sister, Tanya, has been sleeping around with my husband, Tim. When my sister moved in, I saw the way that Tim looked at her. And then the flirting, they both deny sleeping together. But I go and find underwear of hers in my bedroom, and I heard rumors that he was bragging about sleeping with my sister. And it breaks my heart for me to think that they would be sleeping together. I've grown up my whole life with him, and he better, he better love me as much as I love him. Why are you so sure? Where, 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 he didn't where sleep your, with me. Where's your evidence? Because he's had I family. Not sleep with your he man. has bragged to family that he did. What? I didn't sleep with your man. You did what? It's a lie. Yeah. You are just paranoid as you Wait can be. What'd you find in your bedroom? A pair of uh, my sister's panties. That's a lie. I don't wear panties. Well, we're going to meet Tanya, your sister. But first, this is what she had to say. My sister Kathy is everything to me. She's my world. She's all I have left. And for her to accuse me of sleeping with her husband, Tim, is just, it hurts me really, really bad. The reason I've been accused of this is because I did it in my past with another relative's husband. I defend him because I know I didn't do this and would, neither one of us would do that to her. If the tests come back that Tim has cheated on her with anyone else, I would be shocked. I just need Kathy to know that I love her very much and that if he's Tim is cheating it's not with me everybody welcome Tanya here's Tanya I can't believe you're doing this you know I would not sleep with Tim well I'll I find out today too much wait till the lie detector I just want this to be so over. in other words if he cheated it's not with me well, let's just hope he's not cheating. I hope he's not cheating for your sake, too, because I'm going to be there for you no matter what. All right, we sat down with Tim, and this is what he had to say. I love my wife and my kids with all my heart. I know I made a mistake by cheating on my wife, but I learned my lesson. Now she thinks I'm sleeping with her sister. I love you, and we're going to be together for a long time. 
I know this test will prove that I'm not cheating, and you're the only woman for me. Everybody, please welcome Tim. Here's Tim. Tim. Tim, you love, you love this woman. Yeah, I do. You had three kids. Yeah. You, you wouldn't do anything to destroy this marriage. No, I won't. And especially you wouldn't sleep with her sister, your sister-in-law. No. no. I might as well get to the results, and then we can make our own decision. The results are next, and what happens is unbelievable. Her cousin lied about having sex with her fiancé. You got me waiting out here to lie to me. The drama's not over. You won't believe what Amanda does to her cousin backstage. I can't wait till you get a boyfriend. I can't wait. It's lie detector test drama with absolutely no limits. My husband and my children mean everything to me. I feel that my family has been torn apart because my sister Tanya has been sleeping around with my husband Tim. I've grown up my whole life with him and he better, he better love me as much as I love him. My sister Kathy is everything to me. She's my world. She's all I have left. And for her to accuse me of sleeping with her husband, Tim, is just, it hurts me really, really bad. I know this test will prove that I'm not cheating. And you're the only woman for me. We asked you, are you bored with your sex life with Kathy? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> We asked you, during your relationship with Kathy, how many times have you had sexual intercourse with another woman that she does not know about? You said none. In fact, you've had sex over 20 times with five different women. <laughs> we asked you, when you disappear in the middle of the night, is it to have sex with another woman? You say no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> You said you wanted to spend time alone with your family in Tennessee. Were you actually having sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> now, the most important question has to do with Tanya. And we asked both Tim and Tanya, were they having sexual contact with each other? And the answer was no. You can work through you. We'll be back right after this. Thank you very much. This woman is terrified that the love of her life got another woman pregnant. You father a baby with somebody else? Mass rumors. The biggest question in this woman's life will be answered next. The lie detector determined. Her cousin lied about having sex with her fiance. You brought me waiting out here to lie to me. The drama's not over. You won't believe what Amanda does to her cousin backstage. I can't wait till you get a boyfriend. I can't wait. It's lie detector test drama with absolutely no limits. Everyone, this is Amanda. Now, here's the story with Amanda. Two years ago, her world imploded when she found out the love of her life, Jose, had sex with another woman. But Amanda found it in her heart to give Jose one more chance. But today, Amanda believes that he's still cheating, and also she thinks he might have gotten another woman pregnant. Three girls tell me that they've had sex with Jose. All three? Three of them. One of them tells my best friend. What'd you find on his phone? I go on his phone, I see a picture of a naked girl. A girl, a girl, no, 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 no. A girl, he says, is his girlfriend. Why is she sending him a naked picture of herself? Right. It's not on true. His, He's on his phone. Right, okay. What'd you find in his drawer? I find condoms in his drawer, condoms in his car. He says that they're, they're for us or they're old or, you know, in case his friends need them. I'm not stupid, Mari. I know the truth. I know the truth. But Jose had this to say before the show. Watch. For three years, I devoted my heart and my soul to my girlfriend, Amanda. I plan on marrying this woman. I will start a family with her. She believes I'm having sex with other women. 
she thinks I have a baby with some woman. The only person's baby I want to have is Amanda's, and that's the truth. Amanda even accuses me of having sex with prostitutes and strippers. I have everything I need at home. I will never pay for sex. All I want is for us to be happy. I want Amanda to be able to look in my eyes and trust me. And here is Jose. Jose, come on out. <laughs> You love this woman? Yes. Now, I want to get the most important thing. Did you father a baby with somebody else? No, I did not. She talked, she... So he says. Mass rumors. She says there are condoms in your drawer, condoms in your car, all that kind of stuff. People bring that in, though. People ask me, you got condoms, Joey? Uh, so why How many not? condoms do you keep in your car for your friends? Just spare condoms for your friends. Just what are you case. just doing? No. <laughs> Distributing condoms all basically, around town? Basically, the condom man. <laughs> You just want the whole to town man. to go practice to safe man. sex, so you're just giving out yeah. condoms. Safe is the best sex, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna find out right now. Here we go. <laughs> Jose, you were asked, do you have a baby with another woman that Amanda doesn't know about? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Oh. Well, I tell you. Well, I'll tell you away. Okay. You were asked if you ever cheated on Amanda other than the one time Amanda knows about. It. You admitted to the lie detector administrator that you have cheated on Amanda more than two times. Oh! Okay. But the lie detector revealed that you have, in fact, cheated on Amanda more than 50 times. Oh! Is this over the relationship? Oh, this is over. So you gonna tell me? So who? Who are they? You can do 50 times, 50 times? No. 50 times? Hell no. 50 hell, times? Hell no. I'm not, I'm no. not no ugly girl. You know, I'm smart. Yeah, I'm, you're beautiful. I'm beautiful. beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. We'll be back right after this. Thanks. Her cousin lied about having sex with her fiance. You got me wet and I'm here to lie to me. And her fiance lied about having sex with other women. The drama continues because you won't believe what Amanda does to them backstage. And you too? Oh, watch this. It's lie detector test drama with absolutely no limits. Earlier, Amanda came to the show because someone told her she was having sex with her fiance, her cousin Carrie. Her fiance, Carnell, claimed her cousin was lying. Carnell says he didn't sleep with her. But Carrie brought pictures from her phone as evidence. Her fiance still claimed they didn't have sex. But what is that? That don't mean that. But her cousin still claimed they did. Did you and Carnell have sex? Yes. There's pictures to prove everything. The lie detector results revealed that her fiance and Carrie did not have sex. And that Carrie purposely took those photos to make it look like they did. So you lying to me to do this? You brought me way out here to lie to me now? But then the test revealed her fiance has been cheating with other women. Backstage, executive producer Paul Fallhaber tried to get to the bottom of this unbelievable situation. Why did you try to sabotage her relationship? Because he's a cheater. Why would you say that you slept with him? And you can so expose him in any other way. Okay, you're my cousin. I... You're my cousin. You're not supposed to be the one to him or him. I am. Let a bitch off the street do it. No, you don't do it. Here's my question. Are you in love with him? Hell no. No, you went out of your way to do a lot of things to try to I get know. him. Because like him? she don't need him in her life. I can't wait till you get a boyfriend. I can't wait because boy, I'm my, my every day. And bet I could get yours. Oh yeah, and you too? Oh, watch this. Okay. Keep watching future shows as we'll be sure to update you on this story. Until next time, America.
No tests off limits. And the results are in. Barry. Six women, nine babies, and more shocking DNA results that will leave you speechless. Tim says there's no way he's the father. But she says the proof is in the feet. You ain't no anybody out there. a foot test? Tim. This young girl admits she had a foursome and got pregnant. I was young and made some risky choices and now I don't know who his dad is. She's praying Colton's the father. I would give anything for him to be my baby's dad. But what will the DNA test prove, Colton? She admitted to cheating one time and now Ronnie questions the paternity of both of their children. Two paternity tests. Is he the father of one, two, or none? Ron, Ronnie. Plus, this couple was happy raising their three kids until one night. Eugene had a dream that Maria cheated with a white guy. That's ridiculous. How could you deny a child because of a dream? He questions the paternity of their three kids because of a dream. Could it possibly be true? Eugene. 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 The DNA results on today's show are unforgettable, and it starts now. Everyone, this is Portia. Welcome, Portia, to the show. Now. So, Portia meets a man named Tim on MySpace. They fall in love. They date for two years. One night, Portia claims Tim decides to remove his protection. Because according to Tim, he told her he wanted to get her pregnant and have a baby girl. <clears throat> Guess what? Portia got pregnant. She had a baby girl, Kyasia. <laughs> Look at her. Now, now Tim denies he's the father, says the father could be half the men in the country. <laughs> this is Portia's story. Not only does my deadbeat baby daddy deny my daughter Kyasia, he got me kicked out of my apartment and now I'm living in a hotel. He doesn't play with his daughter. He doesn't feed her. He doesn't do a damn thing. My daughter and Tim look just alike. They have the same eyes, the same fingers, even the same frog feet. Tim thinks I was sleeping with somebody else at the same time, but I was on lockdown living with him. I had no time to cheat. Tim has made so many broken promises, but today, that's all gonna change. He will be in his daughter's life, and he will start treating me with respect. <laughs> So, Portia, here's the deal. When it comes to Tim, your daughter is here and porn is here. Yes, Is that right? right? All day, every day, all Tim do is watch <clears throat> porn. Why are you telling you? All day, it's his All day. You know why? He says he's not the father. He says he did not father that child. You positive? I'm, po I'm a thousand percent positive. Where's my daughter? Tell you why I know without a shadow of a doubt that I'm not the father of Porsche's baby. First off, I found out she was sleeping with hella dudes the same time she was with me. Second off, I found my pictures of my supposed daughter inside another dude's folder. Come on, Mark, what I'm supposed to think? Third off, Mark, she ain't nothing but a hoe, man. She a Everybody around my way know. You wanna be any dude around here? Ask about Porsche? Yeah, they know it. I can't wait till you tell me that I'm not the father of that baby so I can get this crazy ass bitch out of my life for good. Here's Tim. Tim, come on out. Here he is. Let's talk about it. You would put porn in front of this little girl? Man, I mean, Mar, you know what I'm saying? If I knew it was mine, I'd be there if for you. Know you know what I'm saying? Right. On the real right now, man. Whoa! Hey. Look at the eyes! That's not your baby, Sam. Look at the eyes! Well, 
Let's get down to this. Oh. What, what, are you, what, what are you talking about half the men in the country? I mean, what are you talking um, about? Yo, Mari, I left my arm. Um, my yellow page is back at home. I had yeah, seven songs in it. Where's I, the I, feet I at? Seven, Can you show us the feet? I had seven songs in it. Where's the feet? Don't have the feet. Y'all have the feet. Look at this. They got the same oh. toes. My show has come down to a foot test. Are you kidding me? What are you trying to say? Their feet look the, the same? The same exact frog oh, feet. Come they on. look just alike. Why are you telling me? I'm telling you. But wait a second. On, I want to talk to Tim about this. You said that you all had an arrangement, a living arrangement. Is that right? We come in a living arrangement. It's three dudes. It you know what I'm saying? Another you know what I'm saying? One girl. And then how? No, no, no. No, 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 we won't put it like no, we won't say the same. Let's say it straight. Let's say it straight. Let's say it straight. We're going to find out. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're gonna find out. Okay. And by the no, way, if this child is yours, this beautiful little child, you'll take care of this child. Oh, of course, of course. And I'm, so I got a son I take care of, you know what I mean? Please, okay. Sam, you get, you we get, worried about that right now. We worried about that right now. Well, guess what? When it comes to 10-month-old Kyasia, Tim, you are the father. <laughs> Just you be a good dad, all right? Yes, sir. Because now the truth is out, and that's your child. You that are beautiful the little father. Child. Okay. Man. Now you have a boy and a girl, okay? Look at you. Here's your daddy. Look at you. There's your daddy, huh? Look at you. Everyone, this is Cody. Welcome, Cody. To the there was a time that Cody admits that she was in a dark place in her life. And she admits shamefully um, she had a foursome. And shockingly, shockingly, she became pregnant around the time she had this sexual encounter. Now, one of the men in the group was a friend named Colton. Another was an ex who Cody wants nothing to do with. But today, Cody is praying that Colton, not the ex, is the father of her son, Sammy. Watch. About three years ago, I was young, and I was going through a really rough time in my life. I made some risky choices. And now I have a two-year-old son named Sammy, and I don't know who his dad is. At first, I believed that Sammy belonged to one of my exes. But now that he gets older, he looks more and more like Colton. Colton is a great guy, and I would give anything for him to be my baby's dad. I can't forgive myself until I find out for sure who Sammy's father is. I am hoping that Maury can tell me that Colton is his father so he can have a good dad in his life and grow up happy. Let's go back. Boy, I guess I guess you would want to take back that time that yeah. you were doing all these things. Yeah, I would. Was this the first time you had a force? No. This was the second time with second him. Time. Second time with him. With him. Let's take a look at this baby and take a look at Colton and see if you think they look alike. They got the same ears. <laughs> same ears, same nose. Does he talk about that? Does he talk about... No, because he hasn't really had a father figure in his life. He's only got my stepdad. But here he is, Colton. Colton, come on out. So you all are just friends? Yeah. yeah. Been friends for Best a couple friends. Of years now. I mean, no romantically involved now. None no. of that. No. Do you think you all look alike? Yeah. 
You never thought so before? I never really looked at it like that. I was just there as a friend and there with him. Well, let's just hope he's the father because that's what the two of you want, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. When it comes to two-year-old Sammy, Colton, you are not. <laughs> you think the only other possibility is one of your exes? Well, I'll tell you what, Colton, you still be an uncle to this child? Of course. Well, I'm glad of that. Oh, so at least he has a father figure in his life. Thank you very much. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. Tedrick says he's not the father, but knows who is. The cashier at their local store. Who's not here? He a clown. He is a clown. So we're going to find out right now. Tedrick. He questions the paternity of their three kids because of a dream. That's ridiculous. How could you deny a child because of a dream? Could it possibly be true? Eugene. 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 <laughs> Six women, nine babies, and more shocking DNA results that will leave you speechless. Everybody, this is Junia. Welcome Junia to the show. Now. So, here's the story. One day, Jania innocently goes to the diaper store to get some supplies and pay for them by check. Simple. But that simple purchase is what landed her on the Mari show for a paternity test. What? Let me explain. That day, the male cashier lifted her phone number off the check she gave and then began to randomly call her asking her out. Now, those phone calls... Those unsolicited phone calls call caused her ex-boyfriend to that she was cheating on him with the cashier at the diaper store and that their baby Deshaun is not here. What? I thought I found the perfect man at Tedrick. He was loving, caring, understanding. I thought we were gonna grow old together. When I told Tedrick that I was pregnant, he was excited. He went out, he bought baby shoes, clothes, crib, everything. But when Deshaun was two months old, Tedrick decided to stop doing stuff and deny my baby. The reason he's denying my child is because some random man stole my number off my check and called me. Since then, he has accused me of cheating, saying when he's coming in the front, other men are coming out the back. I never cheated. Deshaun is his son, and the test will give me the proof that I need to prove him wrong. So, you're mad at him. Him. Me and him, that is dead. Because right. he a clown. He is a clown. I need him like a dog in his boots, I need him like a dog in his boots. That is your baby. That is your baby. That, that is your baby. baby. You know what it is. So he starts saying that you were messing around that ain't my because baby. some guy you a caught your that ain't phone. My baby. Oh, Man, I, I go back my baby What are you Pamela, talking about? And be quiet. This is my show. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. I go back my baby from Pamela. This guy right, steal my number. He's such a <laughs> and he gonna sit up and tell me. All of a sudden, you you're lying, cheating with him. Yeah. And Deshaun is here. Yeah. yeah. How about that? How about it? I'm talking about Because he don't want to take care of his baby. He don't want to take care of his baby. And all of a sudden it turned. Then come December, him and his little entourage. Oh, they his want to call oh he's got an you entourage. Yeah, he got a little entourage. You smashed the homie. His little entourage. Wow. They want to claim that that ain't his baby. Step your game up and be a man. He thinks that you cheated on him. That's because he's a cheater. He's a cheater. Oh, well, here's Tedrick. Tedrick, come on out. Let's hear his side. Here he is, Tedrick. Come on out. This baby look at this baby. Come on, this baby don't look like me. 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 This baby don't look like
how come you can be so sure? Because the baby, what the baby well, looks that like? That baby don't look like well, her. That baby don't look you like me. You don't really, you don't really think. What you mean? Let me tell you something. It's not the baby. Let me tell you something. It, that baby's daddy's not the uh, uh, the guy at the cashier at the store, is man, it? Man, that's that dude, baby man. <laughs> Wait a second. You popped up to bring y'all the case of When that baby was, was a couple of months old, you took care of that baby. So if you're the father, if I say that you're the father, you're going to take care of that baby. Of course, I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing. Okay. What you been doing? Because I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing, baby. What you been doing? What you been doing? Results, what you okay, been here we go. We're going to find out right now. Now In the case of one-year-old Deshaun. You are not. You are Tedrick. the father. Tedrick. You In the not. case of one-year-old Deshaun. You are the father. You are not. Give me my money. Give me my Give me my Give Tedrick, it to me. you are not oh! the father. You're upset. I know it. I know it. But, but he's not. I, I ain't cheat on him, Morgan. I, I know. I know. You might have gotten the dates mixed up. Everything else. No. No. Okay. No. no. What you do? No. Pay me. Hey, hey, don't get on her now. She pay me. She thought. She Man, thought. Man, that's what you don't get paid to think. Okay. Pay me now. Right. Jania, Jania. Go find your baby dick. That's what you do. I'm glad you ain't my baby dick. And I'm glad you ain't my baby mama, Clown. I need you like a duck knee boo. Okay. We'll be glad to help you, okay? All right? I want you to talk to my counselor, Stephen. You go home, and if you want us to help you find out who the father of Deshaun is, we'll be glad to help you. Jania thinks she knows who her baby's father is, but she doesn't know his name. The update is coming up. She admitted to cheating one time, and now Ronnie questions the paternity of both of their children. He says they don't look Mexican enough. Two paternity tests. Is he the father of one, two, or none? Ron. Ronnie. Six women, nine babies, and more shocking that Maria cheated with a white guy. That's ridiculous. How could you deny a child because of a dream? He questions the paternity of their three kids because of a dream. Could it possibly be true? Eugene. 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 <laughs> Six women, nine babies, and more shocking DNA results that will leave you speechless. Everyone, this is Maria. Welcome, Maria, to the show. Now, since Maria was 15, she has dedicated her life to this man named Eugene. Now, in fact, now that she's 19, they have three kids together. Three. They had three-year-old Elasia, one-year-old Eugene Jr., and two-month-old Enasia. Now, as dedicated as Maria is to her family, there is a problem, because Eugene completely denies the little one, two-month-old Enasia. <laughs> and now, he says, he has doubts about the other two kids as well. Let me tell you when this all started. It started when Eugene had a dream that Maria cheated on him with a white guy. And because, because Eugene says that all dreams are true, it must be true. Watch. From the time I was 14 years old, I've been madly in love with a man named Eugene. I'm so upset and so angry that this man is denying my kids. Eugene claims that he had a dream that I had messed with a white man somewhere around the time I got pregnant with my two-month-old baby. So he's denying her? That's ridiculous. How could you deny a child because of a dream? I've dedicated my life to this man. I work, I go to school, I come home and take care of three kids. I'll get up all night with my kids while he just sits there and make up sorry excuses about why he can't help me take care of them. Eugene had a dream, but I had a dream too, and you know what that is. Today, after these DNA tests prove that he is the father, he's going to step up, be a man, and take care of me and his family. All because of this dream. A dream that I had a sex with a 
40-year-old white guy. 40-year-old white guy. Oh, an old white man. Not no young white man. But I got the nerves to lay down with somebody when I got time to take care of three kids. How do I take care of three kids, go to school, go to work, in between, at lunch I take, I go do something with a white man? Is that when I go do something with a white man? At lunchtime, I get 30 minutes to do it, huh? That would be a heavy schedule, wouldn't it? <laughs> Especially finding time to take care of a white man, too. Right. To take care of... I mean, it's not that... That's not the point. It's and just they're the usually point. very I gotta needy. I got to take care of him, too. So on top of taking care of all three of my kids and helping him with what he got to do, then I got to take care of the white man that I'm sleeping with. <laughs> exactly. And I got time for where, it. Where does he get this imagination? Huh? His dreams. His dreams, His huh? dreams. Okay. That was the dream about Inasia, the little one, right? Yes, well, a well, dream. Well, what's the story about the other two? When I was, I had my baby a month early. Which was Eugene. the first one? You, uh, the That's middle the one. That's the second one, the middle one. I had him a month early. He came out light-skinned with, like, grayish eyes. At least that's what he told me. I never got to see my baby eyes when he was little. Right. He had apnea. He stopped breathing on occasions without not even knowing. He just stopped breathing. We in the hospital. He had been in the hospital for two weeks. He down in the cafeteria denying my baby, saying it ain't his. Because he light-skinned it. So you telling me the baby can't come out light skinned right, okay. just because you dark skinned it? Right. Okay. What about what about the oldest? What about Elasia? Uh, Elasia. Elasia. What about Elasia? Too much denied her. Yeah. His family did. Oh, I see. The and family they did. put it out there. Oh, okay. As that's not his baby because she was too black. She was too dark to be his baby. She shouldn't have so been So I'm that telling black. you right now, it's all got to do with color. Color and dreams. And color and dreams. Color and dreams. I see. Okay. Now, take a look at those three kids. Do they look like him? I admit, the, the two-month-old, no, not at all. They don't look like him. But the first two look yep. exactly like him. They don't look no different. Right. I was only 15 years old when I had my first baby. I wasn't obligated to take care of no kids. Right. But I did. Okay. I chose to take care of all my right. kids. Okay. This is what This is what Eugene had to say. Watch. I've been with Maria since I was 16 years old. We have a lot of history together, but I refuse to let her cheat on me and pin another man's kids on me. Maria has three kids. The first one I know is mine. The second one I'm 50-50. But the third one, Inaja, I know she's not mine. I had a dream Maria slept with an older white guy. And you know what they say when you have dreams? They can come true. And when I look at that baby, all I see is a white man's baby. So I know I'm not the father. I got this feeling that I just can't shake off. And if the DNA test come back that I'm not the father, this will be the end of Eugene and Maria as a couple. Here's Eugene, everybody. Eugene, come on out. Here he is. Those are some dreams you got. <laughs> hey, you know what they say, dreams do come true. Yeah, but... Oh. I have a lovely relationship together. You're the father of three kids. Is he a good dad? Oh, yeah, he takes care of them, all except for the last one. Oh, really? Because he don't think she's hurt. Well, that's... So all my kids get treated different. Well, she's, she's only two months old, right? So maybe we got a shot there. Yeah, but... she's only two months old, but you still can't make up for them two months. Right. All right. You can do it all. You touch all the bases, don't you? I mean, here you are as a mom. You are a partner. You're going to school. You're working. I got to. I chose to lay down and have them three kids, so right. I'm going to choose to take care of them and give them a better life than what I had. Okay. And that's why I'm going to All right. So, in the case of three-year-old Elasia, that's the oldest, Eugene. He questions the paternity of their three kids because of a dream. Could it possibly be true? Eugene, Eugene, Eugene. Six women, nine babies, and more shocking DNA results that will leave you speechless. 
From the time I was 14 years old, I've been madly in love with a man named Eugene. I'm so upset and so angry that this man is denying my kids. Eugene claimed that he had a dream, that I had messed with a white man somewhere around the time I got pregnant with my two-month-old baby, so he's denying her? That's ridiculous. How could you deny a child because of a dream? Eugene had a dream, but I had a dream too, and you know what that is? Today, after these DNA tests prove that he is the father, he's gonna step up, be a man, and take care of me and his family. Maria has three kids. The first one I know is mine. The second one I'm 50 50. But the third one, Nina, I know she's not mine. I had a dream Maria slept with an older white guy. And you know what they say? When you have dreams, they can come true. And when I look at that baby, all I see is a white man's baby. So I know I'm not the father. I got this feeling that I just can't shake off. And if the DNA test come back that I'm not the father, this will be the end of Eugene and Maria as a couple. Those are some dreams you got. Hey, you know what they say, dreams do come true. In the case of three-year-old Elasia, that's the oldest. Eugene, you are the father. <laughs> In the case of one-year-old Eugene, the third Eugene, you are the father. Case of two-month-old Enasia, Eugene, you are the father. <laughs> Eugene, doesn't matter what kind of dreams you have. Okay. You got a good one. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. A random meeting on the internet. When I was just 17, I met Michael online. And now this single teen mom is desperate to show Michael the DNA proof. I met Andrea on the internet, and that's enough to know that baby is not mine. Will she find the father today, or will she have to do another internet search? Michael. Six women, nine babies, and more shocking DNA results that will leave you speechless. Now, this is Andrea, everybody. Now, when Andrea was 17, she went on the internet and meets a guy, and she had an instant connection. But it was against the will of her family. She left. And she moved her life to a different state just to be with the guy on the internet. Oh, Three days later, the guy on the internet leaves her on the side of the road. Oh! Then, oh! then she finds out she's pregnant, and so he invites her back. And so she comes back. <laughs> then, so she comes back, they're back together for a while, and then all of a sudden he says, I'm not the father of this oh, This is Andrea's story, watch. When I was just 17, I met Michael online. And after only a month of talking to him, he convinced me to move to another state with him. Three days after I moved there for him, he stopped talking to me. I was walking all over to find him, but he actually drove by me and left me out there on the road. As soon as I moved back home, I found out I was pregnant with my baby. I had to drop out of school and give up my dreams of being a nurse. Michael has denied being the father and left me to do this by myself. After today, I need Michael's help in raising our son. You go to another state to be with him for how many days? Three days. I Three was days. Three days before things got messed up. Then he kicks you out, then you find out you're pregnant. Yes. But you got back together with him, right? Yes, after my son was born, I did. <laughs> He cheated. He came home with scratches and hickeys all over his neck within the first two days. The second day I was there, he had already gone out and cheated on me. Why does he deny the child? Because I was only there for a week. Oh, my God. They slept together for three days. He can't be the father. All right, well, this is what Michael had to say. Watch. I met Andrea on the Internet, and a month later, she wanted to move up and be with me. After the first week she was there, I had to send her home because she would not quit texting me and calling me and aggravating me. Andrea didn't even call me to tell me she was pregnant. She had a family member call me. She couldn't even do it herself. 
I saw that baby once, and that's enough to know that baby is not mine. I cannot wait until Maury tells me I am not the father so I can do my three-toed shuffle and go back to the house. There's Michael. What, what Bob, what did he say, what did he say that bothered you so much? What did he say that bothered you so much? That baby looks just like you. If you had to do it all over again, would you be on the internet meeting women? No, sir, I wouldn't. You would not. I, I don't even know what I was doing on the internet today anyway. I don't even, I'm, I'm not good with computer all anyway. No. So you're not somebody women on the internet all the time? No. No, sir, uh, I'm not. Just yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's still meeting girls off the internet. you believe that she was pregnant before you ever met her? Yes, I do. I believe she was. She's having. She's complaining about having pains oh, no, and everything no, when I met her. You know her. that he's Why? yours. And she's always ill and irritated because she was hurting. You, you know why I was irritated? You know why? That baby? No, sir. To be honest with you, I don't. You that baby looks just like <laughs> my smile and my ears. Everything else on that baby looks like you. Well, we're gonna find out right now. Yeah. You'll take care of this child if it's yours. Yes, sir. I will. I'll man up and do what I'm supposed to do. Good. Good. When it comes to eight-month-old Jaden, Michael, you are the father. Jania thinks she knows who her baby's father is, but she doesn't know his name. Six women, nine babies, and more shocking DNA results that will leave you speechless. Earlier, Jania was completely shocked when a DNA test proved that her ex-boyfriend, Tedrick, was not her baby's father. The case of one-year-old Deshaun. Give me my money. Give me my Give me back! Give Tedrick, me you are not! Backstage, executive producer Paul Fallhaber asked Jania if she had any idea who her baby's father is. Do you have any idea who it is? Yeah. Is he a good guy? Um, I don't even know how, like, how you even get in contact with him no more. It was like uh, one night stand, Carrie. One. Do you remember his name? Just his first name, though. Can I help you find him? Sure. We plan on helping Jania track down the man she believes is the father of her baby. Well, we'll help you out, okay? Keep watching upcoming shows for updates. Until next time, America. Real people, real problems. The drama starts now. Derek denies not one but two of Alicia's children because he says he knows who the real father is. His former friend, Mark. They deny ever sleeping together. I've never touched Mark. Derek, you need to realize these kids are not mine. Where did he get this idea? I'm just a friendly guy. But the two DNA tests will reveal the shocking truth. Mark. Derek. Mark. Derek. You... you are... 
Two years ago, Erica was unsure if her baby's father was her husband, Mike, or a man she had a one-night stand with. You are not the father. They stayed together, but today they're back because Erica just had another baby. After what has happened in the past, I need to know if baby Alexis is mine. Is her husband Mike the father, or will history repeat itself? Mike? Plus, this man denies all three of their children for one very strange reason. Their private parts are not shaped the same. Let's be truthful right here. What don't they have that you have? My privates, what more? No resemblance, not an inkle. Three paternity tests. He says it's about the privates, but will he look like a fool in public? Walston, Walston, Walston. It's unbelievable paternity drama next. Everyone, this is Alicia. Welcome, Alicia. To the show. Now, Alicia, now Alicia is frustrated. She is furious because of this man, Derek, is denying not one but two of her children. Oh. One-year-old Aiden, two-week-old Ava. Alicia says Derek is denying her kids because Derek has it in his mind that he knows who the real father is. His ex-friend, Mark. Oh. Derek believes Alicia and Mark had a secret relationship, and he is actually the father of both of these kids. Here's Alicia's story. I'm a thousand percent sure that Derek is the father of not one, but both of my kids. He's accusing me of sleeping around with his friends, and he knows that I have not slept with him. Derek is just a scared little boy, and when he gets these results, this will be his wake-up call. As for me sleeping with his best friend, Mark, Derek is just saying that to get out of responsibility of being a father. My kids are the victim here, but after today, he's going to step up and be in their life, whether he likes it or not. So, we have given a lie detector test to Alicia, and we've given a DNA test. And we're going to get to all the results. And he says he knows that his ex-friend, Mark, is the father. That you have had a secret relationship with Mark, and he's the father of both of those kids. Mark, I've never, I never, never did. done nothing with this man. Never, ever have I ever it touched Mark. It was his Mark. friend, right? Yes, I've never touched Mark. They fell out for really no reason, all because he just don't want to take care of his kids. Oh, that's, that's the only reason why. This is what Derek had to say. Watch this, everybody. My ex-girlfriend, Alicia, is nothing but a cheating whore. And I know her two kids is not mine. I think Alicia is sleeping with my ex-best friend, Mark, behind my back. Until I get these results, I'm not going to believe none of them. I think Alicia kids don't look nothing like me. And not to mention her oldest son, Aiden, have seizures. My family doesn't make seizure babies. If these kids are not mine, I hope Alicia and Mark have a good life and she stay the hell out of mine. I hear whore. Did I hear right? Whore. Did I hear right? Whore. Whore. His family he doesn't don't even make... take care of his kids. Here's Derek. No, Derek, come on out. Hi, y'all. Whatever you get through. Derek. <sighs> you okay, so let's get this. Let's see what we can agree on. Y'all went together, right? Yeah. Okay. She got pregnant. You were okay with that, right? Yeah. All right. Then, six weeks after the baby's born, you're out. We had an argument one time, and then you put me out. You don't actually put me out of the house and let him stay. There, you know what I'm saying? And um, somebody told me that they seen him coming out the house early that morning. You a lie. You so, a lie I mean, and a half. You a lie. You a so, lie and a half. You are a lie. But, okay, this guy used to be your friend, right? Yeah. Mark. Yeah. He denied this, right? To you? Yeah. Did so he deny it? Both of them. I sat both of them down there in front of me and they both sit up and deny it. Well, don't you believe them? No, not at all. Uh, Derek, about something else. Your family does not make nope. Seed your baby. That's not right. Not at all. Not at all. He all right now. He all right now. He all right now, and he gonna be all right.
right, long as he got his mama. Yeah. 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 Seizure, baby thing. That's Derek, a cute little Derek, boy, baby. Derek, Whoa. you're gonna be a good dad to these kids. No, yeah. he should have uh, well, been a yeah, good dad. Yeah, because if they mind, yeah. He should have been, been a good dad. But how am I actually be a good daddy? That I know is not mine. Well, guess what? The good news is you just live 50 yards away, <laughs> so you can be a good dad. Right. Huh? Right. Yeah. He moved right. behind me to spy on me. He's spying on you. No, that was a convenient place. You should have went that is far convenient. away if you didn't think my kids but that, wasn't yours. But that was convenient. That you was convenient for me. Yo, you, do you want to be with her? Huh? Derek, you want to be with her if they're yours? Nah. Well, guess what? Mark's backstage. Let's find out what he has to say. I am tired of my good name being dragged through the mud for something I did not do. Derek, you need to realize I did not sleep with Alicia and these kids are not mine. They are yours. I don't believe you'll throw our friendship away with these false allegations. I will never move in on your girl, Alicia. All we are is just good friends. Derek, when these results come back, I want you to apologize to me and Alicia and be the father of these kids that I know you can be. Would you apologize? You. Yeah. I'm okay. willing. I'm mad Here's enough Mark. to apologize. Mark. Mark. Yeah. 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 But if they mind, yeah. Whatever. Would you just tell him he needs to be a man? He needs to be a man to his kids. If they mind, yeah. Mark, where did he get this idea? I guess because, you know, when he's Are you all friendly? Is that it? We, I'm just a friendly guy. Right. I seen that he had a lot of, he got kids by this woman. Right. Sometimes he's not able to do his job as a man or a father. Right. So if I'm just going to help, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to help. I took her to the grocery store one time. He wasn't able to do it. Right. So Cause he ain't got no car. Right. But he was a car car and live in a shoebox. <laughs> I mean, come on now. So why would I pin two kids on you and they like you balling or something? You have nothing. <laughs> But I must have something you are. Because I must have something you are. You can't be on your baby daddy. So you are saying it must be something. It must be something. It must be something. These kids look like you. No, sir. That nose. That nose. You have kids? You got a big nose. I have a nose. Yeah, but it's shaped like here. You got a big nose. But it's shaped like here. You act like you got a butt nose. You got a snout. I get the feeling, Mark, that the, the, the way you feel about it is you kind of miss the friendship that you have. I miss the friendship. No, he's a cool guy. Hang out, go out and drink, have a good time. But over some stuff like this over a woman, it's not worth it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going we're gonna to do the fraternity first. When it comes to two-week-old Ava, Mark... You are not the father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But Mark, Thank okay, you. Let's let's tell him he's, he's the, the father. father. When it comes to two-week-old Ava, Derek, you are the, the father. father. When it comes to one-year-old Aiden, Mark, you are not the father. Yes, sir. And when it comes to one-year-old Aiden, Derek, you, you are, are the father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Read your baby back. Read your baby back. Come back here. Read your baby back, baby. Come back. Come back. Derek, we got the lie detector. Test. Yes, I want to hear that. Told you. Told you. Told you. No, you said no, no, no. I got one thing to say. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. Alicia, we asked you, have you ever had sexual intercourse with Derek's friend Mark? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Yeah.
We also asked you if you've had any sexual contact, a uh, contact of any kind with Derek's friend Mark. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. Thank you. I was tripping. I was tripping. No, Derek, you was acting Derek, like a king. Be a good dad. Oh, you I promise I like Mark, thanks for being a good friend. Go take care of your kid. Two years ago, Erica was unsure if her baby's father was her husband, Mike, or a man she had a one-night stand with. Does Nevea look like the other guy? I don't even know. I only met the guy one time. You are not the father. They stayed together, but today they're back because Erica just had another baby. After what's happened in the past, I need to know if baby Alexis is mine. Is her husband Mike the father, or will history repeat itself? Mike? Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? Everybody, this is Erica. Welcome, Erica, to the show. Now, you see, this is not Erica's first appearance on our show. You see, two years ago, Erica and her husband, Mike, found out the devastating news on our show that Mike was not the biological father of their daughter, Nevaeh. Guess what happened after that show? Mike, her husband, who wasn't the biological father, stepped up and has been a great father to this little girl ever since. And, and Erica and Mike, and Erica and Mike are still together. But here's the deal, see? When there's history, there are problems. Because 14 days ago, Erica gave birth to a beautiful baby girl named Alexis. And because of their history, Mike is not sure that baby Alexis is his daughter. Take a look at their last appearance. Watch. Michael is my home world. He's my best friend and my soulmate. But I'm terrified that my four-month-old daughter, Nevaeh, isn't his. He doesn't look like him. Does Nevaeh look like the other guy? I only met the guy at one time. You only did this once? You don't know his last name? know his real name or his last name. I love my family with all my heart. And if Nevaeh's not mine, I'm going to be devastated. This is going to be one family going to take care of that child, and that child's going to continue to have your last name. Yes, it is. It's going to be my child. Michael, you are not the father. I still love you, and I'm still going to be there for you. <laughs> That's my daughter. So, <laughs> for the millions of you out there, who see our show and know that there are times when the, f the fella's not the father. And he says, I'm going to take care of this child. And you wonder, well, did he? This one did. This one is the father of Nevaeh. But, Erica, it's come up again. Yep. Are you mad at him for wanting to know? Um, I'm hurt. I thought that that was something that we were done with. You know, I know I made my mistakes in the past, but I thought it was something that we were done with and we can move on. Do you love him any less for this? No, I, I love Mike with all my heart. But this still kind of gnaws at Mike because he still kind of doesn't trust you. Right, and hopefully this will put an end to it and he won't have any more doubts about me. He not only wanted the paternity test, he wanted a lie detector test, too. Yep. Well, we've given them the DNA test. Erica took the lie detector test. This is what Mike had to say. It was heartbreaking to find out that Nevaeh wasn't my child. But I am her father and I always will be. Eric and I were able to move on and become a family. We even moved to a new town to get a fresh start together. The problem is I'd find myself at home watching Nevaeh by myself. Erica would always go out with her friends and be gone all day. I can't help but wonder if she's out there cheating on me. When I found out Erica was pregnant again, I had a sense of doubt rush through my body. After what's happened in the past, I can't fully trust what Erica tells me. And I need to know if baby Alexis is mine. I know I can't handle being hurt again, but I don't want to wait another four months and find out that baby Alexis is not my daughter.
Everybody welcome Mike to the show. Here's Mike. So Mike. First of all, congratulations. Thank you, I mean, Mark. the fact that you've become a terrific father to Nevea, that's that's great. Thank you. How come you haven't gotten over the trust issue? Because uh, I found out that Nevaeh wasn't mine, you know, and it's, it's, it runs from my head that it happened once, it could happen again. And I don't want it to, I don't want to go through it again. I've not, not only do you want to be sure that you're the father of Alexis, you're worried that since the time you've been here, uh, till now, two years, that she might have been out cheating. Within the last six, I'd say the last year and a half. Anything specific? No, when I'd be at home with the daughter, with Nevaeh, she'd be out running around and... You know, I, just be at home. Need, I just need a break from you guys. If she, if she loves you, if she loves you, why would you think that she would put this at risk again? Put it at risk the first time. I don't, you know, I think he'd do it again. First, we're going to get the results of the paternity test. Then we'll do the lie detector test, all right? Here's the paternity test. Which, of course, we're all hoping that you're the father because you've proven to be a good father. Yes, I have. All right. When it comes to 14-day-old Alexis, Mike, you are the yes. father. Yes! 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 Yes. Now we have this. We asked you, did you have sex with anyone other than Mike around the time you got pregnant with Alexis? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> we asked you, have you cheated on Mike with anyone besides the one time he knows about? That says about everything, right? Yep. You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> I love you. You gonna trust her now? Yes. I never want to see you all on this show again, ever. Oh, we'll be back right after this. Thank you. This man denies all three of their children for one very strange reason. Their what? private parts are not shaped the same. Let's be truthful right here. What don't they have that you have? My privates, no more. No resemblance, not an inkle. Three paternity tests. He says it's about the privates, but will he look like a fool in public? Walston, Walston, Walston. <laughs> Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? Everyone, this is Arla. Welcome Arla to the show. Now, Arla. Arla comes to us in a desperate attempt to save her marriage to her husband, Walston. Now, here's the thing. Arla is hurt. She's extremely frustrated because she has been brought here by Walston. Because Walston wants paternity tests to not one, not two, but all three of their children. Three-year-old Walston Jr., their one-and-a-half-year-old son, Devante and their three-month-old son, William. Walston denies all three. And he believes Arla is cheating on him with all those kids. Watch. I'm desperate to prove to my husband, Walston, that he is the father of not one, not two, but all three of our children. Our marriage is hanging by a thread, and I'm devastated that our family is being torn apart. Walson said that he was told as a child that he couldn't have children. Whoever said that is wrong because he has three very beautiful boys with me. My husband claims that our three-year-old, Walson Jr., looks like one of our neighbors. Walson says our one-and-a-half-year-old son, Devante, is too big to be his child. Our three-month-old son, William, almost died when he was born. I'm hurting so bad right now that my kids are suffering because their father is denying them. They shouldn't have to go through this. So... We've given everybody a paternity test, and just to make sure, Arla wanted to take a lie detector test, and she took it <laughs> to get to the truth. Did he deny the first one when it was born? No, Mommy, he didn't. He was there through the whole pregnancy. He was there when I gave birth. Yeah. With the second one, the same thing. He was there when I gave birth. So when all of a sudden did he get all this doubt? Towards the end of my pregnancy with our youngest one, 
he started saying that I was cheating on him through all the pregnancies. And this is something strange. He says all three of them don't have what he has. What does oh he mean by goodness, that? Oh my goodness, Maury. First off, his second toe, after his big toe, is longer than the first one, and they don't have that, so they're not his. <laughs> Then their private parts, their what? private parts are not shaped the same. Here is Walston. Walston, come on out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't you? Yes, I do, Maury, but I'm Well, hurt. how can you I'm have hurt. your back to the man you love? How can he accuse me of cheating on him and deny his own flesh and blood? You love that I do, but I'm holding back. I'm not 100% sure, Maury. Are you, are you holding back in your affection for them, the way you treat them? I try not to, but I'm not going to lie. Yes. I'm really Really? Well, you... Well, you I can explain. What, they, what don't they have that you have? My privates are more <laughs> my private. They're not, they're not shaped anything like me. Anything, no resemblance, not, a, not an inkle. If At you first, think I'm cheating on you, and on, you're going to accuse hold me. On, no, woman. hold on. No, it's not hold on. You had your time. If you think I'm going to cheat on you, if I was a man, I would not sleep with a woman unprotectedly if I thought they were cheating on me. Never. And I would not have three kids. Three, not one, three. Lies going on here. No, there wasn't, Maureen. Well, there she wasn't. took the lie detector test. Oh, we're yes, I find did. Out. And we're going to find out today. Today. You know everything. Maury. Let's go to the beginning. You don't think any of those kids look like you? Come on now. Be the father. You're going to change your attitude towards those kids, aren't you? 100 percent completely around. Yeah, I will. Yes, We're I will. We're going to find out right now. Oh! Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to do. We're going to do the lie detector test. I mean, we're going to do the uh, paternity yeah. test. Then we're going to do the lie detector test. When it comes to three-year-old Walston Jr. Walston, you are the father. Oh, When it comes to one and a half year old Devonte Walston, you are the uh -huh. father. Wait, that's the one he denied the most. That's the one he denied the most. That is the one he denied the most. Yeah. How you when it comes now? to three month old William Walston, you are the father. Thank you. Sexual contact of any kind with any other man other than Walston. That says it all. Come you on. said no, the lie detector determined you're telling the truth. What? What now? What now? What do you have to say now? <laughs> what do you have to say now? What do you have to say now? Go be happy. Be a great family. I know you will be. Amanda confessed to Jason she cheated and their child might not be his. But in a shocking twist, she's mad at him. I know I made a mistake, but I'm fed up with being the man in this relationship. You were mad? Yeah. Because? You don't do nothing for him. I admit I haven't bonded with Dave. I'm just scared that he's not mine. Will the DNA test end the family drama or be the end of this family? Jason. Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? Everyone, this is Amanda. Welcome Amanda to the show. You see, Amanda is as angry as she is heartbroken. Two months ago, Amanda sadly admitted to her boyfriend, Jason, that she had cheated on him. And there was a possibility that their son, Dayton, may not be his. So since then, their relationship has been riddled with anger and hurt and blame. 
But they both agree that the only way to conclude this painful chapter in their relationship is with the results of a DNA test. Yeah. I've been with Jason for a year and a half, and I'm fed up with being the man in this relationship. I know I made a mistake, but I know Jason is the father of my son, Dayton. I'm tired of Jason being a deadbeat dad. I take care of my son Dayton all by myself without his help. He hasn't done a damn thing, not bought diapers, formula, nothing for my son, and all that's about to change today. Jason looks just like my son Dayton. They have the same eyes, the same nose, everything. If Jason doesn't change and start being a better boyfriend and a better dad today, I'm going to leave his ass because I deserve better than that. So you're mad. I'm mad. Now, you're mad because, first of all, you have an ongoing relationship with him. Yeah. And you're mad. Yeah. Because? He don't take care of my son. He don't do nothing for him. Yeah, he signed everything. He was fine. He was fine. And then, as soon as you told him, Jason, there's something I got to tell you. He started denying it from the be Whenever he saw him, there was already questions about it because people kept saying stuff about him to him, telling him I was cheating on him. Really? Yeah, and I finally admitted to him, and I'm tired of it. Did you tell him that it's his baby? Yeah, I told him it was his baby. That when you cheated, it was not when you got pregnant, right? I told him that. It was two weeks before. It was a couple weeks before, yeah. He didn't believe you? No, he didn't believe me. <laughs> and because of that, what's his attitude been? He don't take care of my son. He don't buy him diapers. He don't buy him formula. He don't do a damn thing for him, and I'm tired of it. This is what Jason had to say. Watch. I was very angry and hurt when I found out that my girlfriend Amanda had cheated on me around the time that she got pregnant. And what angers me the most is that she denied cheating on me through her entire pregnancy. I've said some pretty mean and hurtful things to Amanda because I'm afraid that Dayton's not my son, and that would crush me. I admit I haven't bonded with Dayton like I should have but I'm just scared and still hurt that he's not mine. I'm hoping that I'm proven to be Dayton's father so I can put all this anger behind me and we can move on and be a family. Here he is, Jason. Jason, come on out. Jason, good to see you. Welcome. Glad you're here. You need to Thank stop you. making excuses and take care of him. So, Jason, this is what I'm getting through this. There is a big block going on in your head. You can't get past it, can you? Nope. That's a little baby. You should love that baby no matter what, don't you think? <laughs> do you love him? Yes, I do. Bye. Do you but love I'm her? I'm sick of it. Huh? Yes. Now, if this is your child, are you going to be a do a 180 on me? And yes, sir. Start taking care of that Stop child? Stop calling me a bitch and a whore and a slut and everything else. Even what happened? if he's not mine, I'm still going to be there for him. Okay. Well, let's find out. When it comes to two and a half month old Dayton, Jason, you are the father. What's that say? What's that say? What's that say? It says, you are the father. All right. Are you happy? All right. You help out and give him a chance. Don't get in his face so much, okay? We'll be back right after this. Delilah is not your average single mother. Delilah was born HIV. I struggle every day with this disease. And to make matters worse, Kyle denies that he's the father of her baby. Hey, don't tell me that. Sit down, woman. Don't 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 is Kyle truly the father? Kyle. Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? Now, my next guest, 19 year old Delilah, is a teen mom struggling to raise her nine month old daughter, Nassiel. But Delilah is not your average single mother because Delilah was born HIV. And she has never in her life known exactly how much longer she had to live. But she's here to prove to her ex-boyfriend, Kyle, that he is the father of her daughter, Nancy L. Listen to Delilah's story. At just 19 years old, Delilah has experienced more pain than some people go through in a lifetime. I was 14 when I found out I was HIV positive. I didn't know what to do. I just fell to the floor and started crying. Despite Delilah's diagnosis, 
She's determined to live a normal life. I struggled every day, every day with this disease. I had kids not even wanting to be my friend. When I got with Kyle, I fell in love with him. We were happy. And as soon as I got pregnant, he started to deny my baby, saying it couldn't be his. Unfortunately, Delilah says Kyle has not supported her or her daughter during these tough times. He wasn't there when she was born. He wasn't there when she started to walk. He's missed everything. Sadly, Delilah doesn't know how much time she has left to live. When I was 10, my mom died of AIDS. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't miss her. And I just need to know, God forbid something was to happen to me, that he will be there for my daughter. Now, there is one great shining light to this story, because baby Nancy L is free of HIV. What did the doctors tell you, that there was a possibility? Um, there was a possibility, but as long as I stood undetectable and t was on top of my pills, she, she, she would be negative. As long as it hadn't broken out yes. further, as long as your HIV hadn't broken out further, yes. the chances are that your, your child would not have HIV. Three tests and negative. <laughs> I ask about all this because does Kyle know about all this? Yes, he does. And he still denies this child? Yes. Has he ever seen your daughter? Three times, and my daughter's nine months. Three times out of those nine months. You know what he says? He says there's another guy, it was your, it was your other friend, because you named your daughter after the other guy. But that's because my mother's name was Nancy. Oh, I see. Nancy L, do you hear it? Can you hear it, Nancy L? And everybody's wondering, did Kyle know that you were HIV when he slept with you? I told him a week after we got together, and we didn't sleep together until two months into the relationship. That was his decision to sleep with me without a rubber. And this is what Kyle had to say. Watch. Just because I'm a good guy does not mean I'm the baby's father. People can pity Delilah all they want, but that doesn't mean she didn't do me wrong. She said she called to tell me she was pregnant, but that's just a fairy tale. I had to hear four months later from a doctor that she was pregnant. Delilah didn't include me in any aspect of her entire pregnancy. She didn't tell me about the baby shower or the delivery. She was heartless and self-centered the entire time. Not to mention, she named this baby after another man. I asked Delilah for a DNA test, but all she did was procrastinate. Bottom line, if I'm not the father, I'm done with your nonsense. Here he is, Kyle. <laughs> You know the backdrop of the story. I mean, it, it, first of all, this child is H HIV free. I assume you don't want to be with her, right? Not at all. Then why'd you sleep with her? Why'd I sleep with her? At one point in my life, I did love her. I proposed to this woman. I gave her a ring. I offered her everything I had. All right then. So if you knew that, you should have never been denying her when I got pregnant with her. Denying her? I'm you sitting here at work, up at school, uh -huh. working hard, uh -huh. and then I'm going to get... Yeah, exactly. Working, working, Let me talk. Working, you had your chance you to speak. Money, Let me you talk, woman. you can't take five minutes hey, out your hey, day. Hey, You can't take five minutes out your day to pick up the phone just five, to see no, how no, your daughter's no, 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 doing. Let me talk, woman. Even if you let me talk, know there's a possibility. You going to let me talk? Calm down. Calm down. Let me talk. You got your words out. Mari, let me tell you something. Yep. I go to school. I'm working hard. I'm further my education. This girl... She dropped out of high school. She don't want nothing. She low life. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm a low life. I'm so, a low life, but I'm taking care of my look, daughter. But listen, I'm the listen, one there for I'm my daughter school, every day. At work. Every at day. Work. What do you do? She gonna tell me. Okay, she told me. She told me okay, about okay. her pregnancy. She never told me nothing. Oh. So, I gotta get a message from her. She sends me a message on MySpace saying, "I'm just gonna, <laughs> right? MySpace. I'm just gonna put you on support. And my man's been with you since day one." Click, my man's been with me since day one. How do you have a man with you since day one and it's my baby? All right, it takes any man to make a baby, but it takes a real man to step up and be a father. I don't have to call you. I don't have to be honest. I don't have to be on top of you to call you for you to be in You don't family. have to be on like, top of me, but you need to let me know listen, listen, that listen, I'm listen. the father. If this is your child. If this is my child, this, this girl will receive more love than any, you know, really? guy can give her. You know she no, she knows I'll be the best father. Hi. You still have feelings for her? Yeah. I got feelings for this girl. If a lot. you think that if, if it turns out that you're the father of this child, is there a chance you all can get together? No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, let's not even worry about that right now until we find out the results. Thank now you. that I know you'll be a good guy. When it comes to nine-month-old Nancy L, Kyle... Is Kyle the father? The DNA results are next. Kyle... Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? At just 19 years old, Delilah has experienced more pain than some people go through in a lifetime. I was 14 when I found out I was HIV positive. I didn't know what to do. I just fell to the floor and started crying. When I got with Kyle, I fell in love with him. We were happy. And as soon as I got pregnant, he started to deny my baby, saying it couldn't be him. Just because I'm a good guy does not mean I'm the baby's father. People can pity Delilah all they want, but that doesn't mean she didn't do me wrong. Not to mention, she named this baby after another man. If this is your child, if this is my child, this girl will receive more love than any guy could give her. When it comes to nine-month-old Nancy L, Kyle, you are the father. I told you, I told you. You change your name. I told you, I told you. Listen, listen, listen here. You gonna listen it? Hey, 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 hey. Go hold your daughter. Go hold your daughter. Go yeah, hold your daughter. Let me see my daughter, but you're gonna change your name. You're gonna change your name. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have a late breaking update on Delilah that you don't want to miss. Seven babies and six men tested. Is he the father? Delilah, a teen mom who's been diagnosed HIV positive, just proved to her ex-boyfriend Kyle that he is the father of her baby. You are the father. You still have feelings for her? Yeah, I got feelings for the girl. What happened to this couple after the show? We spoke to both Delilah. Explosive family drama, unbelievable results. Aren't seven babies and eight men DNA tested? Are these men the fathers of their babies, or are they not? Damn! Oh my god! Oh my god! When Ebony confessed that she cheated, Joey walked out and left their family. She lost him forever. Today she's desperate to prove that he's the father of their youngest, a child he's never even met. Joey has never seen her. She's never laid eyes on her. I will not feel bad for Ebony's mistakes. She brought this on herself. Look at her! Look at her! You know that, that baby! Did he walk out on his daughter's life, or is she really someone else's daughter? Joey. Sean's denied her son since the moment he laid eyes on him. As soon as that baby came... He was like, that's not my son. You're not his father! You took one look at him? I'm my kid. Were his instincts right or wrong? No. Sean... Charlene is not sure which of these two men is her baby's father. She's praying her boyfriend is the dad. I'm terrified that another man, Clayton, may be her father. But what will the DNA test prove? Clayton, Jack. Plus, Josh thinks that his child's real father is another man, his own brother. She was spending a lot of time in my house with my brother around the time she got pregnant. Could his own brother be the real father of their two kids? Josh, Josh. Families in crisis that need the DNA results. Well, as most people know, you never forget your first love. Aww. Welcome Ebony to the show. <laughs> now, her first love was Joey, but the memories bring back mixed emotions. Um, Ebony says she destroyed any hope for a future when she did indeed cheat on Joey. 
during their relationship. And, and lost him forever. But even more devastating is the fact that when she discovered she was pregnant, Joey left her in a desperate situation. Watch. When Joey and I, we first met, we were so madly in love. And it just all changed. Shania asks us all the time, Mom, where's my dad? And it hurts me to know that she's hurt. Joey and I have two other kids together. He's been there for them. And she sees how good he is with them. And she's left out. I made the biggest mistake of my life. I cheated. It broke his heart. I regret what I did. You know, that's my fault. But my daughter shouldn't have to pay the price for the mistakes I made. I have no doubt in my mind that Joey is the father of Shania. My baby's four. She's never laid eyes on her dad. He's never seen her. I'm sorry for doing what I did. But my daughter should not suffer. She doesn't deserve it. OK. So that's the background. That's little Shania. She's four. And uh, first of all, Joey has never seen her. Now, we, ha we have to say, Joey lives in another state, right? Yeah. He lives yeah. far away from you all. Yes. But you have two other kids, older kids. Yes. He they, takes care of those kids. He's there for them all he the is. time, yes. So it's not that he can't be a good father. He's it's, a very good father. He's a very good father, but I made a mistake. I messed up, and I know I made a mistake, and I apologize. I'm deeply sorry. But what I want to know, Ebony, is why are you so sure he's the father if you made a mistake? Because I got a fraternity test with the other guy. Oh, right you did? Yes. Oh, you did a DNA test yes. already? Yes. With the other guy? With the other guy. And the, uh, there's only one possibility? Only one other possibility. Did Joey know about the DNA test? Yeah, I told him. What did he say? Him. He still denied her. He wasn't trying to hear that. But my baby shouldn't have to suffer for the mistakes I made. <laughs> it's not fair to her. So... Does Joey see your other two children? Yeah, well, he hasn't because we moved to a different state, but he, he's, he's there for them. He but he's them. never seen Shania. Never. I'm going to bring him out here, <laughs> show him a picture. This is the first time he's ever seen her. First time he's ever seen her. He's never laid eyes on her. And she wonders who's her daddy. <laughs> Do you want to be with him? If, if things work out and then we can work it out, then yeah, we can work it out for the kids. Well, this is what Joey had to say. Watch. I admit. Ebony and I were high school sweethearts. We had two kids together long before the situation began. I knew from the moment Ebony was pregnant that that wasn't my child. She looked me dead in my eyes and told me this was another man's baby. I would not feel bad for Ebony's mistakes. She brought this on herself, so now her daughter's paying the price. I got news for Ebony. She stressed me out one too many times. Regardless of what happened today, me and Ebony will never get back together. Here's Joey. Joey, come on out. By the way, first of all, I want to congratulate you. You're a great father to two kids. Yeah, I try to, Murray. Except there's a third child. Yeah. What happened? I mean, me and Evan have been together for seven years prior to all this, and it's like, I don't know. She had she was dealing with another guy. And she gave me reasonable doubt, like, this is not my child. And woo woo, tell me that's the other guy's child. Take a look. You haven't, you haven't seen this child move. Yeah. She looks like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just Ebony going this on herself. Yeah, but you know, you brought, to bring you it this to on the, yourself, for Abby. the record, before, for the record, he cheated first, OK? For the record. I was there. I was a good woman to you, okay? So don't make it seem like that I was bad. I was good to you. We were just young and things happen. You know what she said? If she, when she proves to you that this is your child, that maybe you all. I wish them, you know, be responsible and take care of my child like a man. I'm gonna do that. So, the two of you. She ain't got no, she ain't no problem with that. You're not going to get back together? No. no I don't mind that. I, I don't no. want to be with Joey. I want you to step up and take care of your child. That's what I want. Well, you don't, you don't, you don't do that. You He's four years old. You four years old. You never happen. did nothing for her. You ain't did nothing for her What you expect, all. though? What you expect? Joey. What you Look expect? at her. Look what, at her. What, what you, you know expect, that's though? your though? What you expect, You know that's your baby. What you expect, though? All right, now, wait a minute. What you expect, I don't want things to get out of hand because I want to be able to give the result, and if it's shown that you're the father, I don't want 
parents shouting at each other over a child. I don't like it. It just makes me feel bad, okay? All right? So let's find out whether he's the father. Right? When it comes to four-year-old Shania, Joey, you are the not... That's not possible, Maury. Oh my God. Yeah, man. I mean, like I said, we got the kids together. Ain't no heart. I mean, nothing like it. No, no, I mean. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, that's not possible, Maury. That's not possible. I didn't have sex with nobody else. I swear to God, I did. It's a long time ago. We have oh to think back. You have to think back. Oh my God. Oh. Five years ago, you have to. Think oh back. God, no. Everybody, this is Trisha. Welcome, Trisha, to the show. Now, I guess like every girl, when she was a teenager, she dreamed of a perfect man, a beautiful baby, a loving relationship. Then she met this guy named Sean, and gave birth to 17-month-old Keegan. She thought, <laughs> look at him. She thought she had found all those things. But Trisha says it all went downhill the day she brought Keegan home from the hospital because Sean takes one look at the baby and said, you oh. like him, and has denied Keegan ever since. This is her story. My life has not been easy. I've been on my own since I was 13 years old. When I met Sean, I really thought I had it all. The day that I brought Keegan home, Sean looked at him and goes, he's not my son. I've never cheated on Sean. I'm trying everything in my heart to make this work with Sean. I hope that this paternity test shows him that Keegan is his son. As soon as that baby came home? Mari, as soon as I brought him home on July 4th, he looked at my son and he was like, that's not my son. He knew like that? Yeah, just like that. He's like, I got blue eyes. All my other kids have blue eyes. He's like, that is not my son. He does not look like Are him. Are you all together now? No, I kicked him out two weeks after my son. Was born. I kicked his ass out. He was gone. Does he see the child? No. He, he, he tries to come over and get a uh, when my son no. is sleeping. Oh, but yeah, he still you are a wants cheater. to be with me. Right, I see. Okay. I am not a cheater. You don't even yes, know. You are. You're never you around. You are a cheater. Yes, you you're are. You know you're a cheater. Me. You know you're a cheater. You're I don't care what you say. Me. This is what Sean had to say. Trish and I have been off and on for the past two years. I'm not here today to fix this relationship. I'm here to find out if I'm the father of this child. When I first found out about the baby, Trish is already a month and a half pregnant. If Keegan was really mine, she should have told me from the start. I was there for Trish during that pregnancy. When that baby came out, I looked into his eyes and I could tell he was not my child. It's hard for me to be around Trish right now from all the doubts I have about being the father of that baby. If this kid's not mine, I want to live a Trish-free life without this drama. All right, everybody, here's Sean. Welcome, Sean, to the show. <laughs> Have a seat. Look at him. Sean. Sean. Don't know me. Sean. Sean. You don't want to be with him. Too much drama. No. Too much drama. Way too much whoa, drama. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Marty, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. He brings the drama in my life. So, you were on again, off again. Yes, she was pregnant right, and everything. Yep. The baby comes. You took one look at him and said, yeah, that's not that's my, not my kid. kid. No. Why? Look you at don't know nothing like me. Look, look at him. My look, son. No, hold on, hold on, look hold on. At look at the son. eyes, look at the mouth, the yeah, ears, everything. Son. I don't care what you guys got to say. Whatever, whatever. I tried three times to get a DNA. Whatever, whatever. And he would not do it. Okay, all right. And also, you think that the timing was off, right? Yeah, the timing's off. We weren't together during September and October, and that's what. And I got pregnant October 2nd. Oh, whatever. I had my baby July 2nd. 
for both of you. Here's the problem. The DNA results are not here. So you're going to have to wait <laughs> or so before we get the results. I'm sorry to say that. The DNA results came in and they will be revealed later this hour. No. Sean. That's not right. Charlene is not sure which of these two men is her baby's father. She's praying her boyfriend is the dad. I'm terrified that another man clean may be her father. But what will the DNA test prove? Clayton, Jack. Are these men the fathers of their babies, or are they not? This is Charlene. Now, Charlene, welcome her, please. And Charlene has a beautiful two-month-old daughter named Jakia. And that's her miracle baby. And we'll find out about that in a moment. But she needs another miracle today because Charlene is praying that a DNA test proves that the man she loves, Jack, is the father of her daughter. But during a brief breakup, Charlene had sex with a co-worker named Clayton. So she's not sure who the father of her baby is. This is her story. My heart is breaking because all I want is for my boyfriend, Jack, to be the father of my daughter. But I'm terrified that another man, Clayton, may be her father. Jack and I were dating for a few years. We broke up for a few months. And during that time, I started dating my coworker, Clayton. And now I'm paying the ultimate price. I know Clayton won't be there for her like she needs the dad to be there. I'm just scared that Jack will leave me in the process and I'll be alone with her. Jack is a wonderful father. He gets her when she cries, feeds her. No matter what, he's there. I love Jack more than anything in this world, and I'll do anything to make this right. Who do you think the baby looks like? <laughs> to me, she looks like Clayton. You think the baby looks like Clayton? Clayton is the one on the right, is that right? But the baby's only, what, two months? Mm-hmm. All that early well first of all here is the guy who you want to be the father here's Jack Jack come on you love that little yes sir you gonna love that little baby if I read the wrong name on it yes sir You don't think he means it? I hope he does. I pray he does. What do you think of Clayton? Um, I don't. I mean, you don't. <laughs> so it's not, you know, it's not that you don't like him. It's just you don't think about him. No, sir. This is what he had to say. Watch. I'm here today to find out who the father of Charlene's baby is. I worked with Charlene. Eventually, we became friends. After three months of hanging out, I actually moved in with her. After three weeks of living together, she told me she was pregnant. I was shocked, because I thought I couldn't have no children. I was excited at first that she broke the news to me that it could be Jax. I had no idea that she was messing with both of us. Everybody thinks the baby looks just like me, but you can't base DNA just on looks. You sure can't. Trust me. Here's Clayton. Clayton, come on out. So, Clayton, this is what I get. I get the feeling you're an okay guy. You're just a little hesitant about this. Yeah, is that yeah, it? Yeah. I already spent time with the baby already. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's been with my house for like four days already, you know? Right. Me and my family bonded with the baby and stuff. So, if it's your baby, you'll take care of that Yeah. Thing. Uh, you think that baby looks like you? No, sir. Oh. You think it looks like you, Jack? Yes, sir. You think it looks like him? Yes, yes sir. I think we finally are going to find out right now. So we have the when it comes to two-month-old Jackia, Jack, you are not. The two-month-old Jakia Clayton, 
You are the fuck. <laughs> I have a feeling, I have a feeling that uh, a little part of everybody was expecting this result. And Jack, the two of you have to have a lot of talk, right? <laughs> yes, sir. And at the same time, there is nothing wrong with two men in the line of a little baby. <laughs> Because guess what? We all know a lot of kids that didn't have one father around. We'll be back right after this. They're a couple. They love each other. There's only one problem. His sister. You know that's not his baby. It's his baby. You never once cheated on your brother. Is his sister right? Robert? He took one look at her baby and walked out of her life. Let's find out. The results are coming up. Is Sean the father? Sean? That's not right. Are these men the fathers of their babies, or are they not? This is Lisa and her boyfriend, Robert. And this is their five-month-old daughter, Michaela. But, you see, look at Michaela. But you know, they're fine. Look at them. They're holding hands. They're a couple. They love each other. But there's somebody who doesn't believe that Michaela is Robert's daughter. And that's Robert's sister, Rachel. Yeah, I don't believe it. Here's what happened. On the very day that Lisa gave birth, Rachel, the aunt, takes one look at Michaela and demands her brother get a DNA test. Do you see that? And according to Lisa, since that day, Rachel tells everybody around that Michaela is not Robert's baby. Look at and the she baby. is hell bent on tearing their relationship apart. Watch this. I am here today to prove to Robert's sister he is the father of my daughter, Michaela. My sister Rachel swears that Michaela is not my baby. She's determined to tear me and Lisa apart. I can't stand Rachel. She wants everybody to believe that I cheated on Robert, and that's a lie. It was so amazing to see Michaela come into this world. At the hospital, Rachel ruined the day because she wanted a DNA test. Well, the bitch is going to get one today. Lisa Michaela is my world. I love her so much, I'd do anything for her. I'm so confused. My sister swears I'm not father of this baby, and it really hurts. Rachel needs to shut her mouth about this. She tells all your friends things like that? Uh, mainly her friends. Her friends. Well, why does she do that? She don't think that my daughter's mine, Maury. He is it! She was yes, born. he is, and I'm here today to prove it to you. What does she say about you, Lisa? Did that you... I cheated on him and I didn't. So let's meet his sister, Rachel. Find us what it's all about. She toes? says, hey, Rachel, she says that this baby has a birthmark on the back Do of her neck. Do you see a birthmark? No. Look at your Do brother. Do you see one on him? No. Your family Look has a birthmark so on the back of the neck. My mom doesn't have it. Look. Yes. Rachel, Look. They, sit Do over they there. not? Sit over there. Rachel, is it because you just don't like her? Is that it? Is that the reason? No, because she cheated on him. They were living I with her. On they him. were living with her. With his pregnant. girlfriend. I've oh. never oh. once oh. cheated on him. Cheated on your brother. Oh, I love your brother too much to be cheating look on him. Rachel, her. did you walk in the hospital? I damn sure did. Oh. That baby, I seen that baby the first time, and I said that baby does not look like my brother. I'm calling him. It does not have to look oh, like your brother. It does. If I read the result, and the result says it's at your brother's baby, are you going to be a great aunt to that? Yeah, baby? I'll be a good aunt. It doesn't mean I have to like this whore. Like her? You really have it against? Yeah, I don't like her. No, no, not at all. You think she's, she's manipulating whore. your brother? Oh yeah. No. Yeah, I mean, no. come on. Who doesn't want no. a good guy to raise their baby? But all right, we're gonna whore. find out right now. All right.
when it comes to five-month-old Michaela. Robert, you are the father. <laughs> Love that baby. I love that baby. That baby is mine. Takes away baby. all the doubt. Like okay, that's fine. I Robert, love that baby. you're the father of that child. It ends it. None of the family are going to yeah. at all complain. Yeah. No, none of your friends. That's it. Thank you so Have much. Have a good Morgan. life. Lisa, thank you very much. Thank you. Give him a good life now. Don't mess around on him. I've never wanted Okay, we'll be back right after this thing. A little boy born with the sickle cell trait, and a father who says that this gene must have been passed on from someone else. He doesn't have a sickle cell trait, neither do I. I'm not his father. Well, let's find out. Andrew? Damn! He took one look at her baby and walked out of her life. The results are coming up. Is Sean the father? No. Sean? <laughs> are these men the fathers of their babies, or are they not? What started off as a friendship ended in pure hell for my next guest, Latrina. Now, although Latrina says she and this man, Andrew, planned to have a baby, Andrew freaked out when he found out Nehemiah, the baby, has the trait of the debilitating disease, sickle cell anemia. You see, Andrew's only reason for denying this baby, the only one, is because he says, and I quote, I don't make sick babies. What did you think when you, when, you, when you heard that? I thought it was just bad, you know, because we plan to make this baby, you know, and now he's saying that, Well, you know, it's very interesting about Andrew, because Andrew says, you're right. We did plan to have a baby. I did want a baby with you, right? He right. wanted it, and he admits it. But then, when the baby carries the gene, he says, it's not my family, so therefore it's not my child. Right, that's what he said. That's what he said, Mark. I Here's guess. the problem. Andrew has six other kids. Yeah. Six other kids, Lori. Was he there for the pregnancy? Nope, not at all. Was he there at the hospital? Nope, not at all. Did he sign the birth certificate? Nope. Is he still a friend of yours? No. Andrew's not, I mean, Andrew's not no. a friend of yours. <laughs> this is what Andrew had to say. Me and my best friend, Trina, we planned to have this baby. I was all for it at first. I have six other children that I don't get to see, and I wanted the baby I can raise on my own. When Latrina got pregnant, I was really excited. This was the child I really wanted. After the baby was born, we found out he had a sickle cell trait. There's no way possibly he can be mine. She doesn't have a sickle cell trait, neither do I. So where did the baby get it from? I know Nehemiah is sick, but it's not my fault. None of my children are sick at all. I'm not his father. Here's Andrew. Andrew, come on out. <laughs> Get out of the show, man. Andrew, how you just gonna say that's not your? How you just gonna say that? How you just gonna say that? You know Andrew. that hurt me. Andrew. So what you trying to say I'm a hoe or something? No, you know ain't your hoe. No, he never said that, did he? Well, he said he's not the father, Maury. So that makes me but, seem but like I'm But the reason, and I want to talk to Andrew about this. I assume that the sole reason that you say you're not the father is because of this trait. Right. That's the reason why. I love him. You know, if he's mine, I'm gonna take care of him. Why does it take a test to make you feel that you're the father? <laughs> it's all because of that trait. It's all, all because, because of, of the, the trait. trait. All because of the trait. You know, Maury, that's just sad. You know, because I gave him this little boy, and you know, somebody he can love, and now he <clears throat> treating him like this, you know? Well, guess what? <laughs> we, might, we might end that right now. I assume you want to be the father. Yeah, I do. Well, let's find out. <laughs> When it comes to three-month-old Nehemiah, Andrew, you are not. <laughs> Damn! Oh, are you for real, Mark? Uh. I'm sorry, Andrew. Yeah. 
really bad at this. I'm sorry. Josh thinks that his child's real father is another man, his own brother. He was spending a lot of time in my house with my brother around the time she got pregnant. Could his own brother be the real father of their two kids? Josh, Josh! Are these men the fathers of their babies, or are they not? Everyone, please welcome Ashley, my next guest. Now. Ashley walked down the aisle, married her husband, Josh. How long ago? June 31st of this year. June 31st of this year. Oh, yeah. Guess what? Within a year, they may be headed for divorce. Oh. Because Josh is convinced he's not the father of either one of their kids. 19-month-old oh. Lily, 9-month-old Gap. The reason why Josh doesn't believe they're his kids is that Josh believes that Ashley has been sleeping with his own brother, Chad. Oh! And that Chad could be the father of one of the kids. Well, guess what? We gave everybody a paternity test. Yeah! You don't want to be here. No, I don't. I think it's They yeah. look just like him. They do. You've never had sex with Chad. No, and this accusation on top of it has has been recent. This my daughter's 19 months old. Oh, I got you. Now, who else does he think you've been messing with? He thinks that I cheated on him with my ex. Oh. Here's what Josh had to say. Watch. When I look into my two kids' eyes, it kills me because I know I may not be their father. I love my wife, Ashley, with all my heart, but our relationship is in trouble because of this. I believe Ashley cheated on me with her ex around the time Lily was conceived. The guy told me they were hanging out, and I caught her sneaking around talking to him on the phone. I also believe my brother, Chad, could be the possible father of Lily. She was spending a lot of time in my house with my brother around the time she got pregnant. If I'm not the father of one or both of these children, I'm leaving Ashley. Y'all haven't been married that long. No, only since June. Okay, here's Josh. Josh, come on out. So, Josh, if you looked into the possibility with two people with brown hair can have a child that ends up with red hair. You know, I've heard about it, but I've just, I've been, I don't know, man. Just something's weird about it. Weird. Yeah. If I read that you're the father of these two kids, do you all want to be a family together? Oh, yeah. But he needs to stop accusing me. Are you going to stop accusing her if I read the right result I've here? I've never cheated on I'm him. Stop he doesn't have any her. reason to accuse yeah, me. Yeah, well, I don't know, man. You don't even... With your own brother? <laughs> With my brother. Yeah, I love my brother to death, but... He told yes. me that his brother was his best friend and that he would never do anything like that to him. Okay. So then, but now he wants to accuse him. Well, see, Chad's not here. He just doesn't even give this enough thought to come here. You had doubts before, but you married her? Yeah, well, I... Like I said, he can't make up his mind. This is what Chad said. It's ridiculous that my brother Josh could actually think that I would sleep with Ashley. I'm 100% positive that I am not the father. It's impossible because we never had sex. Josh should know me better than that to think that I would betray him like that. You don't believe him? <laughs> when it comes to one-year-old Lily, your brother Chad, Josh, is not the father. When it, comes, when it comes to one-year-old Lily, Josh, you are the father. Oh, oh, no. When it comes to nine-month-old Gabby, your brother Chad, Josh, is not the father. When it comes to nine-month-old Gabby, Josh, you are the father. What? You need to apologize. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know, man. I'm sorry. So 
Joe, have a happy life. Raise those two kids. <laughs> They've been married for 10 years, but she made one mistake. Amber had sex with another man one time. And now everyone needs the DNA results to help doctors care for this child. Titus is born. He had a hole in his heart. He has to have a clear medical history. Everyone's praying for the right result. Is her husband the father? It's Jesse. <laughs>18 months old, so you've been wondering for 18 months. Yeah. You think you all look alike? I think so. In some ways. A little bit. You know, one knows. Were you just saying nice things back there, kind of trying to be PC, politically correct, to say it doesn't matter if he's not mine? I'm sorry. Absolutely not. That is, that is my boy. That is my boy. <laughs> case of 18-month-old Titus, Jesse, you are not It doesn't change a thing. It does not change a thing. I want to tell you something. I I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry that that's the truth, but guess what? Titus has a great dad. Yeah. We'll be back right after this. He took one look at her baby and walked out of her life. The results are finally in. Is Sean the father? No. Sean? That's not right. 
Are these men the fathers of their babies, or are they not? So before the break, we met Trisha and Sean. And Trisha was desperate to prove that Sean's the father of a 17-month-old Keegan. But because of a delivery problem with the DNA sample, it has been two weeks that these two people have been waiting for the results. And, you know, that is a long time to wait. Have you thought about the two possibilities here? If you're the father, what's going to happen? I will step up, be a man, and take care of him. That's all I want That's what I will you. do. I will step up and That's I will take care of him. If you're I not want. the father... Bye. It's, see you. Don't talk to me ever again. I'm well, done. I see you. I would have whatever. no reason whatever. to. Okay, then let's find out right. right now. In the case of 17-month-old Keegan, no. Sean... No. You are no, the father. Not. You are the... I know you're upset about it, but take care of that thing. All right. All right. Okay.